Hey, welcome back, Cloud Scholars. I hope your day is going well, and a special welcome to those that this is your first time here. My name is Kieran Tross, and I am your host for today. In today's how-to video, I'm going to dive into setting up custom roles within Azure. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our resource groups, and I'm going to come down here to this RG East US resource group. And then once here, I'm going to click on Access Control IM. Now, the thing with resource groups and questions I've got in, uh, in the past is people don't really understand how to do custom roles and they have issues with setting up custom roles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the three different ways of doing the custom roles and then we're going to assign it to our test user. So if you come up here and you click on add, you're going to go to add custom role. And then within add custom role, what we're going to do is we're just going to come up with a name. We'll just call it uh, test new role. And you can put a description in here if you want to. Uh, it's totally up to you. And here at the bottom is the three different ways you really can go about creating your custom roles. So right here, we could clone a role. We could start from scratch and we could do a JSON. In this video, I'm going to cover all three. So if we go clone a role, it gives you this drop down, and then you can literally just scroll through and say, okay, which one do I want to clone? So we can say network, we we'll type in network, and we'll just do network contributor. And if we click on next, you'll see right here in the permissions that this is the permissions that all the permissions are for a network contributor. Now we have the option to come up here to add a permission, and then we have the option to exclude a permission. I am not going to go into that at the moment. I'm going to jump into that after the next roll. And then we're going to click on next assignable scopes and in assignable scopes right now it tells you it says hey it gives you the description first and then it says which resource group is applied to now if we want to add another uh role to this another scope we'd come over here we hit resource group and we can apply this to the rg west us as well and click select and then now we have both uh resources in it so then what we can do is click on next and then once we click on next, what you'll see is the actions stay the same, right? That was the actions that we got before. But up here, we're assignable scopes. We see we have East US and West US. And then when you click on next, it'll give you the review and create. And then we could click on create. And then it says you have successfully created the custom role test new role. It may take a few minutes to display in your roles for everywhere, which is fine. So that's the first way of doing it, of cloning a role. So I'm going to come back up here. We're going to go add. We're going to do add custom role. And we're going to do the same exact thing. And we're going to say second test role. And we're going to leave the description empty. But what we're going to do is we're going to do start from scratch this time. And we click on next. Here we're going to see add permissions. So same thing as before. You click add permissions here or you click add permissions in this box. It doesn't really matter. They both lead you to the same uh, sidebar window. And then over here, what we're going to do is we're going to just going to type in anything. We could search through this, right? You could go down and you could say, okay, what do I want to add um, within this role? And you have all these different categories here that you want to, you can do. So let's just say we wanted to say, okay, let's give this person some billing rights. And over here, you can see a list of things that you can do for those billing rights. If I come out of this and I come back to add permissions, Let's choose something with a little bit more permission. So let's keep scrolling down. Let's keep scrolling. And what we'll do is we can say, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll type up here. I'll just type in commute, compute. And then here it'll give us some more information and it'll limit what we were able to choose from. So we'll just do Microsoft compute. And this one gives us a lot of different permissions that we can give, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do add permissions. And then what I'll do is I'll click add. And then what you'll see here is we'll have all these different uh, actions here that we can take part in. Now, what I want to show you, and the reason why I chose this one is because right here it says permissions. We're going to click on next, assignable scopes. And then we're going to click on JSON. Now, what I want to show you is this, right? So let me go back to permissions really quickly. I can remove certain permissions. So let's just say we're not really sure what we want to do. 
you could give them a good amount of permissions and then you can remove certain stuff. So let's just say if I was to say, okay, I'm going to take away this capacity reservation. I'm going to take this one away. I'm going to take this one away as well. And I'll take this one away. And when I go on next, right here, you see the JSON and the JSON is really how Azure reads it. This is what Azure says, right? So this is how Azure says, okay, how do I give this person the ability to do X, Y, and Z? And in this, you can make your modifications here as well. So if we were to click on edit, I can come in here now and I can remove certain actions. So I can say, let me remove these actions right here. And then now it's less actions there. And then I could click on save. And then this way, these are the different actions that are that I'm doing for the custom role. So one thing I will tell you with custom roles, they can be a little bit difficult at times because you're like, okay, there's Microsoft's gives you so much granularity, right? Where you can get down and drill down to what you want for that specific role that it could be a little bit overwhelming. So one of the things that I like to do is I like to go in and say, okay, I'm going to go into a role that's already defined. And what I'll do is I'll look through this JSON file and I'll take away the access that I don't want there. And then this way that helps me with creating that role. And that's going to lead to what I'm going to show you next with creating it from scratch. So here we're, we're content. We've taken away a decent amount of roles that we want to do. And then we're going to do is click on next. And then we're going to click on create. And then see, it says you have successfully created the custom role, second test role, which is fine. So one of the last things we're going to do is we're going to click on add and we're going to do add custom role. And this role, we're going to start from a JSON. So the JSON file that I've created is right here. And you can use any text editor document that you want to use. Right now I'm using Sublime. And what I did was I did exactly what I did from the previous role, right? But what I did is I said, okay, I took out some of the information. I called it a specific name. So I want to say, okay, I know what role name I want to do. So I put it up here. So I call it scholars underscore Azure admin. And then what I did is I assigned the scope already for it as well. And then what I did is I put down the permissions here that I want to do for that specific role. So I'm going to jump back over to the Azure portal and then I'm going to do is I'm just going to upload it. So now back at the Azure portal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this little icon right here. And here is my file. It's called role.json. But I want you to notice here where it says custom role name. All of this is completely blank. Now, if I were to click on the custom JSON file, you see what happens? It pulls in the name from the JSON file. So right here, if I go to permissions, I can see all the permissions here. But what I want you to know is I still have the ability to mark off some of these items if I don't want them there. And then if I were to say I can add another permission too, I can still go back here and say, okay, let me add some more permissions to it if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. And then I can also go here to assignable scopes. I can modify the scope. So if I want to say, all right, you know, I don't want it just for there. I want to add it some more scope to it. I can do for subscription, I can do for resource group, and I can add to that as well if I wanted to. So let me click out of that. And what I'll do is I'll click next. And there you have it, scholars, Azure, uh, underscore Azure admin. And then what I'll do is I'll click next, and then I'll click create. And then there it has, it says, you have successfully created the custom role scholars, underscore Azure admin. It may take uh, the, uh, the system a few minutes to display your role everywhere. And then once that's done, you click OK. And then now, if you want, if you go to role assignments, you have no role assignments right now. Do we have anything? We do have a few role assignments. And then we could do is we can say, OK, add role assignment. And then what you can do is you could come over here, type, and then you could do custom roles. And then this way, you'll see your custom roles. So that last role didn't show up yet. But I'm just going to click on this one, test new role. And then what I'll do is I'll say, okay, users or manage identity. I'm going to click select members. And then here I have test and then I'll click on test user. I'll click select and then I'll do review and assign. And then here we have it. The role is test new role. And then we have it for our test user and then we'll click review and assign. 
And then that's it. It says add and roll assignment. And then test user one was added to test new role. And then that's pretty much it. So one thing I would definitely want to recommend and stress to you is that with creating custom roles, it can be a little bit tedious. I understand it. But if you use the predefined roles, and then what you can do is work in the process of subtraction and removing certain rights, then go ahead and do that. Another thing I would definitely tell you to do is when you're when you're setting up these roles, you also want to make sure you're implementing least privilege. So get a test account, add the roles, sign in under that account, and make sure that you're satisfied with the roles and the permissions that you are providing to that test account before you deploy it to the rest of your environment or to other um, users within your IT department. So that wraps up setting up custom roles within Azure. I hope the information in this video was beneficial to you. Uh, if you have not done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button uh, here at Cloud Scholars. The goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.